I just drive, I use a thing called Wikicamps on my phone and it tells me where free campsites are. So I live off grid. I don't... You have no electricity? I make my own with solar panels. Wow. So. You're responsible. You're a thoughtful grey nomad. No, I'm because... not even grey! <laughs> no, but, but I mean, that's the, the concept, doesn't it? Or... No, the grey nomads are people that have, have their own home and they get a super big caravan. This is my home. I live in it full time. Would you like to have a look? I would, actually. You do cook. I do cook. I don't eat takeaway food. Is that television? No, it's my computer. I'm a photographer and I do photo editing. I like to stand up sometimes and work. Blimey, so this it's is... It's compact, isn't it? That's your bed. This is my bed. I could sit here and I could pull this out and I could eat here or I can, you know, use a laptop here. It's very cleverly designed. I'll show you this. Even though it is a wee bit messy, this is my bathroom. This is a compost toilet. And this is my shower, complete with toilet paper that I can hang up there and I can put a shower curtain on there. So I do have it all. So... Slightly nutty. <laughs> it is slightly nutty. And do you prepare meals here? I do. There are a few things a 78-year-old lady like me needs and one of them is a toilet outside the kitchen. What made you take this decision to do this? Well, I had a house, and, but I also had a mortgage. I thought better to feel wealthy in something small than feel anxious about mortgage and maintenance on a single pension. There are women especially that raise their children. They don't have the same length of putting money into a pension fund. So they're a bit strapped for cash then? A bit strapped for cash. I've met women who live in cars. I met a one, one woman who lives in a tent. But yeah, So there are cold. lots of women like this, are there? Seeming more normal now in my age group, Miriam. Geez, that's not right. I'm trying to find out what the Australian dream is. Did you have a, a dream or...? I think the dream is probably freedom. Now, whether that be freedom to have a beautiful big house and a pool and a family and a good job, it's the freedom to live the way you want to live. I'm Miriam Margulies, almost Australian. <laughs>